The Indiana Pacers have traded Paul George to the Oklahoma City Thunder in exchange for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis. Now the NBA free agency period hasn't even started yet. But we've already had a blockbuster trade to talk about. Paul George going to Oklahoma City. Now he's paired up with Russell Westbrook. This is going to be an exciting trade to talk about. I think the Thunder definitely won this trade. In fact, I believe this is going to be a lose-lose for Indiana either, either way. But kind of like what I what kind of familiar with the Chris Paul situation earlier this week. That they traded him to get something in exchange instead of losing him at midnight tonight for nothing. So it was a smart move for the Pacers to try to come up with something. Because I honestly thought that Paul George was going to stay in Indy. Because I didn't think there was going to be a team that would want to take a risk on signing Paul George when he has clearly showed intent that he wants to play with the Lakers. So I thought it was going to be a big risk for a team to sign someone in Paul George who may only play one season for them. So this comes as a huge surprise to me. But it's exciting to talk about. And the Thunder, I believe, won this trade big time because they got rid of they got rid of all the depots, they got rid of his salary, or they got rid of his cap space, and plus it pairs Paul George and Russell Westbrook together, which I think is going to be a very exciting tandem to see. So it's kind of this is kind of like the silly season for NBA, and trust me, this off season has been more exciting than the regular season itself. And if you disagree with me, you've got to be thinking differently. Because just so many different things have happened. It's very unpredictable. But this week we've seen Chris Paul now going to Houston to pair up with James Harden. Now we're seeing Paul George going to Oklahoma City to pair with Russell Westbrook. But there's still some major free agents still out there. But I think this trade ultimately came down to the th I think I believe the Thunder were going to express interest in Blake Griffin, but Blake Griffin signed a new is expected to sign a new 5-year deal to stay at the Clippers. So that so when that plan went out the window, their next best option was to go with Paul George. And I think it was executed beautifully by Oklahoma City. But there are still some major free agents still out there waiting for deals. Like Gordon Hayward, Paul Millsap, Kyle Lowry, Drew Holiday, Danilo Garnelli, Andre Iguodala, Nerlens Noel, Derek Rose, Tim Hardaway, Rudy Gay, George Hill. Just so many major players are still unsigned at this moment. And the next few days are going to be really exciting. Anyway, that is all I have for you right now. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter, JB Talk Sports. That is all I have for you for right now. Have a good, have a good night, everybody. I will see you next time.